Dave just called me downstairs and said there's some stuff to film. He wanted me to come see what was going on in the shop. So let's see what he's got going on real quick. We got some special boxes in, uh, prototype camshaft stuff that we've been secretly working on for a little while. So let's open it up, give everybody a sneak peek of what's going on. So first box, it's probably the most exciting cam because by far this was the hardest cam to develop. It's actually not a Honda cam. It is a Supra cam. Supra intake cam. Super exhaust cam. Now, these aren't 2J cams. These are uh, BMW B58 and BMW S58 cams. Too many people already doing the 2J stuff. No reason for us to do the 2J stuff, but we'll do the B58 and S58. It's not easy. This was definitely the hardest cam to do. This, if you look at this, the lobe, see how it's almost inverted? The base circle's small and then the lobe is really big. That is a result of the double Vanos, uh, double rocker arms. Now I have one more cam that I design. This cam ditches the entire double Vanos system. And it goes along with some shaft mounted rockers that we designed. But if you look at this race cam, look at the lobe profile, and then you look at what a double Vanos profile looks like, you'll see the difference. C1 is inverted. I would go down like this. This, it, this intake lobe is a double Vanos, and you can see the lobe is inverted. This, this intake cam is a shaft-mounted rocker without the two rocker arms, so you could look at the profile as more traditional look. K24 or K20 C4 camshaft. This is the intake. K24, K20 C4 exhaust camshaft. Take a look at these. These are the cams that are in the 2.0 turbocharged Honda engines that don't come in the Type R. So th th this camshaft's can basically go in the Accord engines and then people can make their Accord engines into Type R performance basically with these camshafts. So we have the uh, intake camshaft here, still retains the three lobes, exhaust camshaft, single lobe, fuel pump lobe here. And the main difference between the K20C1 and the K20C4 uh, cam is, is where this uh, trigger wheel is. Ah, K24 Z7 intake, K24 Z7 exhaust, uh, K24 Z7, this is the 2.4 liter single exhaust port engine that came into all the 9th gen Civic SIs. Alright, so you can see the K24 Z7 cam, kind of the same concept. We've got VTEC on the intake, and you have a single lobe on the exhaust. Like I said, there's no real cam out there for the 9th gen Civics. This thing will unlock more power than people can imagine right now. That's it. That's it, kids.